In a surprising and covert conservation effort, scientists released millions of mosquitoes from helicopters above Hawaii to save rare and endangered bird species from extinction. While this operation highlights the innovative lengths to which researchers are willing to go to protect wildlife, it also sparked unease among residents. For many, the secrecy surrounding the project rekindled memories of Oxitec, a biotech company that quietly released billions of genetically modified mosquitoes over several years in other parts of the world. The parallels between these initiatives raise questions about transparency, public trust, and the ethical boundaries of wildlife conservation. Hawaii's rare bird species, such as the honeycreepers, are under severe threat from avian malaria, a disease transmitted by non-native mosquitoes. With warming climates expanding the range of these insects into higher elevations, once safe habitats for these birds have become hotspots for disease transmission. The decline in bird populations has been alarming, pushing some species to the brink of extinction. In response, scientists developed a novel approach to address the mosquito problem, releasing millions of male mosquitoes infected with Wolbachia, a naturally occurring bacterium that renders them sterile when mated with wild females. These sterilized males cannot produce viable offspring, effectively reducing mosquito populations over time. By deploying helicopters to distribute these mosquitoes across vast and inaccessible regions, researchers aim to curb the spread of avian malaria and provide a fighting chance for Hawaii's endangered birds. However, this initiative was carried out with minimal public disclosure, raising concerns among residents. The lack of transparency reminded many of Oxitec's controversial experiments with genetically modified mosquitoes in other parts of the world, sparking debates about the ethics and communication surrounding such projects. These releases were met with mixed reactions. While some praised the technology as a groundbreaking solution to mosquito-borne diseases, others criticized the company for its lack of transparency and insufficient engagement with local communities. In many cases, residents were unaware of the releases until after they occurred, fueling suspicions about potential risks to human health, ecosystems, and biodiversity. Oxitec's history of covert operations left a lasting impression on the public. When news of the mosquito releases in Hawaii emerged, it reignited fears about the unintended consequences of manipulating mosquito populations and the ethical implications of conducting large-scale experiments without public knowledge. The similarities between the Hawaii Mosquito Project and Oxitec's operations are striking. Both initiatives involved innovative mosquito control strategies aimed at solving urgent ecological and public health problems. Both were conducted with limited public awareness, and both sparked controversy over the ethics of releasing altered mosquito populations into the environment. In Hawaii, the decision to release millions of Wolbachia-infected mosquitoes from helicopters without informing residents highlights a recurring issue in conservation and biotechnology, the tension between scientific urgency and public trust. Scientists defending the Hawaii project argue that delays caused by prolonged public consultation could jeopardize the survival of critically endangered bird species. However, critics contend that withholding information from the public erodes trust and creates unnecessary fear, especially when the methods used involve biological interventions. The lessons from Oxitec's experience suggest that transparency is key to fostering public support for such initiatives. Proactive engagement with local communities, clear communication of risks and benefits, and open discussions about ethical considerations can help alleviate concerns and build consensus around these projects. Without these efforts, even well-intentioned interventions risk being viewed with suspicion. Both the Hawaii Mosquito Project and Oxitec's experiments raise important ethical and ecological questions. While the goal of saving bird species or controlling mosquito-borne diseases is undeniably noble, altering mosquito populations on a large scale carries potential risks. For example, reducing mosquito numbers could disrupt food chains, impacting species that rely on mosquitoes as a food source. Additionally, the release of modified or infected mosquitoes could have unintended consequences, such as the spread of Wolbachia to non-target species or the evolution of resistant mosquito populations. These uncertainties underscore the need for rigorous environmental assessments before implementing such projects. Equally important is the inclusion of diverse perspectives in decision-making processes, ensuring that scientific, ethical and community concerns are all taken into account. 
Insiders warned that the use of genetically modified organisms has been a subject of significant debate and research in recent years, and one of the most notable applications is the release of genetically modified mosquitoes into ecosystems to combat the spread of diseases such as malaria and dengue fever. It raises concerns about the potential side effects and unintended consequences on the environment and the delicate balance of ecosystems. One of the foremost concerns regarding the release of genetically modified mosquitoes is the potential disruption of ecological balance within the targeted ecosystem. Mosquitoes play a role in food webs as a food source for various predators, including birds, bats, and other insects. Introducing genetically modified mosquitoes with altered characteristics may disrupt the natural predator-prey relationships, leading to unintended consequences for local wildlife. For instance, if genetically modified mosquitoes are engineered to have reduced reproductive capabilities, it could lead to a decrease in the mosquito population, and while this might be the intended outcome, it could also affect the populations of animals that rely on mosquitoes as a primary food source. The resulting imbalances could have cascading effects throughout the ecosystem. Releasing genetically modified mosquitoes into an ecosystem can lead to the evolution of resistance among the target mosquito populations. When genetically modified mosquitoes are introduced, it is possible that a subset of the population may have genetic variations that enable them to survive and reproduce despite the genetic modifications designed to control their numbers. Over time, these resistant mosquitoes could become dominant, rendering the genetic modification less effective and potentially making the mosquito population even more challenging to control. The evolution of resistance is a common concern in pest management strategies and highlights the importance of long-term monitoring and adaptability in genetically modified mosquito programs. Genetically modified mosquito releases may affect not only the targeted mosquito species, but also non-target species within the ecosystem. For instance, if genetically modified mosquitoes are engineered to carry a lethal gene, there is a risk that the gene could transfer to non-target species through hybridization. This could lead to unintended harm to species that are not pests and may even threaten local biodiversity. Additionally, the release of genetically modified mosquitoes may inadvertently harm beneficial insects, such as pollinators like bees and butterflies, which share habitats with mosquitoes. The potential collateral damage to non-target species raises ethical and ecological concerns, as these unintended consequences could have far-reaching implications for ecosystem health and stability. Another significant concern is the potential for the modified genes in genetically modified mosquitoes to spread beyond the targeted population. Genetic material can be transmitted through interbreeding with non-genetically modified mosquitoes, potentially leading to the unintended spread of the modified genes throughout the ecosystem. The uncontrolled spread of genetically modified genes can have unpredictable consequences, particularly if the modified genes provide an advantage that allows the genetically modified mosquitoes to outcompete native mosquito populations or other species within the ecosystem. It is crucial to develop stringent containment strategies to minimize the risk of genetic spread. While the primary goal of releasing genetically modified mosquitoes is to reduce disease transmission, there is a possibility that altering the mosquito population could have unintended consequences for disease dynamics within the ecosystem. Changes in the mosquito population may affect the transmission dynamics of diseases beyond the targeted ones. For instance, reducing the population of disease-carrying mosquitoes could indirectly lead to an increase in the prevalence of other diseases that rely on mosquitoes as vectors. This phenomenon underscores the need for comprehensive research and modeling to understand the potential impacts on disease dynamics and to mitigate unintended consequences.